Tim Wampler, uh, AFA certified farrier. Practice mainly out of Schaefer, Minnesota, roughly within 50 miles. A lot of the horses I do, they're all over across the map, both pleasure, uh, speed horses, trail horses. Uh, a lot more private backyard horses than, than show barns and such, a few of those. Um, but uh, definitely my bread and butter and my um, appreciation is for the more of the privately owned backyard horses. So Justin Fry, uh, Iron Range Manufacturing, uh, he was getting into the making of the bodies and uh, being more of a local Minnesota guy, just it made a whole lot of sense to use him, uh, give him the opportunity to build. And working with him was fantastic. I mean, obviously he was open to all ideas. Um, unfortunately, there were some last minute changes that I pushed on him and uh, he was willing to do that. Not that I'm recommending anybody do that to any of the manufacturers, but uh, he was very good to help with. You know, my, my main goal for the truck body design, um, I wanted the lift off. That was important to me because I wanted the truck to be usable other than for farrier work. And then really my only other um, expectation of Justin was to have it open. I wanted the open concept like we talk about with houses, but I didn't want that wall to go right down the center and walk from side to side. I wanted it open. If I was able to go to a contest and bring my station and not have to put it into a trailer, that was my goal. Um, really, if packed correctly, I, I could fit two stations in the truck and go to a, a contest. So openness was a big thing. I like efficiency. So having everything, all the power tools on this side was important. My shoe racks on the passenger side was important because where I back into park, I back right up to the door and the shoes are right inside that service door at my shop. So it seems like a lot, but at that point it was up to him to kind of lay it out um, how he saw fit. We worked on obviously where to lay out the power tools uh, when I went up to pick it up, but um, how the T-wall was designed, the forge swing out design. Um, and then the other thing I asked him to do was the anvil on below the deck so I didn't have to lift it up onto the truck. And uh, to me, that was also important because it, I think it saves the back quite a bit. Um, I felt I needed the four wheel drive. Um, even actually at my last stop, backing up out of the um, hill that I was parked on, I had to put it in four wheel drive just to get out because it was just a little bit wet. So it, uh, the four wheel drive in the truck, it was important to me as well. But again, just the standard, you know, take the body off and now I have a flatbed truck that I can use around the farm. Um, is definitely helpful. Uh, power tool wise, again, I wanted them on the driver's side um, between the drill press, the bandsaw, and the grinder for uh, pads. I just wanted them in close proximity of each other. Um, there's always the option of having them on the same slide out. Um, I just felt like separate slide outs was going to be more efficient for me in working around. Um, I went with two drill presses just because I didn't have to change bits then when we're doing ice studs in the winter and riveting the pads on, the snow pads on in the winter as well. So even though you can change a bit out pretty quick with the quick change bits, I felt like two drill presses uh, were just as easy to use. They're the cheaper Harbor Freight drill presses until I know I need something else bigger. And uh, they, uh, they, they work really well. I like having two. Forge swing out wise, I wanted the forge on the driver's side. For me, it just felt like it was more comfortable in, in playing around with it and acting like I was in out in the field uh, working when I was starting to design it. It just felt more natural for me to be, the truck to be on my right and using the forge with my left hand, of course my tong hand, versus it on the other side. Um, so putting the forge on the left side was key for me. Uh, obviously the anvil stand just kind of buttons right up to it. Um, we put the, the shoe and box tray right next to that. So that holds the anvil stand in, that holds the swing out in. Um, and then the, the hoof shaft just slides right into it. Uh, a couple of drawers, so there's four drawers in the back. Uh, a couple of them have nails. One of them has uh, some random tools and like my uh, dental impression material, those types of things, some other random. And then the bottom drawer is mostly rasps, knives, and uh, some other forging tools. Then we added, later on, added a tool caddy, if you want to call it that. And uh, that's what that holds the hammers, the tongs, all the much used forging tools, um, which used to be kept in one of the drawers and having them out is way more efficient for me in the end. 
and uh, helps me keep going uh, pretty quickly throughout the horses all day. So passenger side again, I just wanted that to be open. Um, having the shoe rack up on the bulkhead wall was the most convenient place for me. Um, and other than that, I just wanted a few more drawers on that side. So that holds some of the random uh, pouring pad, uh, sponge blocks, a lot, of, a lot of the other random tools and, and supplies. And just having those drawers over there, uh, again, just kind of gives me another opportunity for storage and leaves a lot of the truck open on that side. Uh, of course, it fills up with junk periodically, and but I can definitely store more stuff as I need. And uh, on top of the drawers, then there's also a spot where I can put uh, different hoof plays. I have my Gojo for uh, my hand washing. I have the uh, pour and pad gun. Um, things like that all up there as well just to keep them up and out of the way because they're not used very often So I think the overall experience in in designing the truck is really just Going through every scenario trying to understand obviously where your clients are what type of clients you're working at um, If you're on level all the time if you're on concrete all the time um, And then just trying to make it efficient for you Whatever that might be whether it's you know only one drill press or a uh, bigger grinder or a different grinder and having them on the other side, uh, just depending on where you park and how your barns are set up. Obviously it needs to fit you. And I think in just putting a lot of time and effort into that and talking it out with Justin, helping him kind of put some different perspective into, well, if you did it this way, then there might be this issue. Or if you did it this way, we could do this instead. And it, that definitely helped to uh, uh, get the design to be right because of his experience of obviously being a ferry for much longer than I have been. His efficiencies with his truck helped to design this truck with the efficiencies that I needed.